All right, we're gonna walk backwards in time to give you an idea how long it takes Matthew. for some of these things. Okay, we're gonna film the age of the Earth over a hundred paces, starting at the present, which is this this wall here, and then we're gonna go back and talk about different animals and where they were placed relative to the distance. Okay. My animal is a saber-toothed tiger. It's two meters long. It's a mammal. Its teeth are 15 centimeters. It's found in Argentina and California. It's a large ma mammals, and it had body parts of huge jaws and with that included seven-inch canines lived in the Quaternary Era. It was called the Woolly Mammoth. It, it lived, its range was spanning through North and South America, and it had died 10,000 years ago. The causes of its death were either climate pressure change or disease. The Mesonyx is a wolf-like predator that lived in the mid-Eocene. It had five toes that instead of claws had nails on them because it was easier to catch fish without claws. Its tail, its tail could flatten and be used to help it swim. The Mesonyx lived in Western Europe and North America. It was existed about 60 million years ago and was located in the Northern Hemisphere during the Eocene period. Its classification, Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Perizodactin, Family, Halocatherium, Genus is Hyrocatherium. So that's this Pleistocene, about a step away from the rock wall that you can see right behind me. And we're going to go take a few more steps and that ends up at the uh, late Cretaceous or mid Cretaceous. The uh, Yukon um, people, um, they, su they survived the Cretaceous territory extinction that disposed of the dinosaurs and a lot of reptiles. Go! Triceratops is a herbivore dinosaur that lived during the late mass Christian stage of the late Cretaceous period, around 65 to 68 million years ago. It's one of the last dinosaurs to appear before the great Cretaceous tertiary extinction event. The Albertosaurus is a prehistoric lizard who lived 70 million years ago in western North America. It was skinny, long, with a massive head, large teeth, and tiny hands, and it was a relative to this Go. This is the Hadrosaur. It, it lived in the in and around the Drumheller Valley 73 million years ago. Period. It lived mainly in North America. It has it has a bill of a duck today, and it has tooth, and it has two short like arms and two legs. Saurus lived in in Lower Ed, what's now Lower Edmonton and it could reach um, up to about 9 meters long and some of them even reached 13 meters long. Its weight was about 3.5 tons and there were several... The Berticeratops is about 20 feet long and weighed nearly half a ton. So the late Cretaceous period of about 78 million years ago is located in the southern Alberta and is it's one of the rarest uh, Okay, well the Velociraptor lived in and around um, the Badlands and in Mongolia, quite a wide range, and it was small, hunted in packs, and was quite smart. It was named by Lawrence Landay in 1990, 1919. Its diet consists of low-lying plants, as it was a herbivore. It lived during the late Cretaceous period about 76 to 73 million years ago. Fossils have been found in Alberta and Montana. The first Pronophosaurus fossil was found in, in the Judith River Formation in Alberta. Pronophosaurus was not a sword, ankylosaur, a pink like dinosaur with no tail club. It had a bulky, heavy armored body, four short legs, a short neck, a wide skull, and a stick <coughs> tail. Period, and it was closely related to the Albertosaurus. It uh, lived mostly in Alberta, but could be found in other provinces. 
So we've done a few, but look at the distance we've traveled from the wall. That is the quad quaternary, or the present time. We're right now in the late Cretaceous, about that time, and we hardly have gone any distance from the wall on our scale. We still have eons to go. The Euoplocephalus, meaning well-armored head in Greek, lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was 20 meters long and had a bone tail that it used for defense. It was a herbivore creature and the T-Rex. 85 million years ago, the carnivore dinosaur, the T-Rex, ruled the Earth. 40 feet long and 15 to 20 feet wide, weighing up to 7 tons. The great dinosaur could be found in southern Alberta. Uh, my uh, indicator species is the Ichthyosaurus. It's a uh, it's a sea animal, and uh, its name literally means fish lizards. Uh, it's from the Mesozoic era, and it appeared during the Triassic, uh, reaching its peak in the Jurassic. Yeah, oh. this is an ammonite, and it lived from the Silurian to the Late Cretaceous era. Era, and um, it is believed to be um spe relatives of the squid and the cuttlefish. It was found about 155 to 145 million years ago. It was about 90 feet long, about 26 foot long neck. And it was a herbivore and it ate probably conifers, which were the dominant plant at the time. It is it used to be thought that Sauropods like Diplodocus had a second brain. Here is the monoclonius. Um, mono being one, because it only has one horn, unlike the Triceratops, where Tri being three, it has three horns. But um, it is a medium sized dinosaur about 15 meters long. Um, it's, it is a herbivore. Its diet mostly consumes palm trees and other plants. It walks on four legs and it lives mainly in Alberta and Montana.